Misterios de Superstar. Hello, all my jump ropers, and welcome to another episode of Super Mario Maker. This level was submitted to me, so I figured might as well give it a shot. It's apparently supposed to be really, really hard. So let's see how this goes. Okay, jump. I jumped. Success. Ooh, I didn't jump that time. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, and I'm dead already. Oh, I, I see. I get it. Beginning's a little bit long. And I'm dead already. Okay. <laughs> yeah, especially considering you know how difficult this level is supposed to be, and I'm not even past the first actual obstacle. But uh I would definitely definitely suggest shortening the intro a little bit. Because, uh, yeah. This, this will actually turn a lot of people off from this level. Uh, having to wait, like, 30 seconds or so. Just to try again. So, a little bit of a level design tip there. Not, not a good idea to have people waiting for a long time just to actually play. Yeah. So I've, I finally learned the trick to doing this. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Well, that's worse. Okay. Okay, I get it. I have to ride that second swamp up. I think. Or potentially I'm supposed to abandon the boot in order to jump up to those blocks. That seems a bit less likely. Although I did see the those boxes up there, so... <clears throat> Maybe that's what I have to do. I have to jump out of the boot to get up there, and then maybe it gives me a big or something. And then I have to do it from there. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Whoa. Thought for sure I was dead immediately right there. Okay. Whoa. Okay, maybe that's not the way I was supposed to go. Okay. Really? Part of me wanted to try to run and jump onto this platform, but it's like, that is an awful idea. Oh god. I didn't think I was gonna make that one. Can I even jump high enough to get on this guy? I can! <laughs> That's not the way I was intention intending to do it, but... 
but uh, once I lost my boot, I just kind of wanted to see if I could even make that jump in the first place. I don't know why I thought that I couldn't. Um, so far, I don't really... I, I think I think it's an interesting concept. Um, I don't really have a problem with that. My my only real complaint with this level so far is just the wait time at the beginning, because that's that's gonna make people just you know get bored with the level and give up. Oh god. I did not jump over when I was supposed to. And so I was worried that, uh... That the next time I jumped, I was gonna either... I was going to hit the... The Goomba. The boot. I was gonna get the boot. And not in the way I wanted. Okay. Whoa. Let's just sit here and do it that way. That's much safer. So, am I just supposed to do like a running jump and abandon the boot? Yeah. Okay. Once again, a really interesting concept. But, uh... The wait time at the beginning is just way too much. I'll give it a star. Because I I enjoyed the little bit of level that there was. But, uh... Yeah. Like, a third of the level is just waiting, so... That's kind of disappointing. Um, he also submitted, which one was it? This one, Spring Loaded. He told me to try a lot of his levels, but he specifically submitted these two levels, so. And apparently it has not been cleared. So, let's see if we can't be the first person to clear it. That looks pleasant. Okay. So I I literally cannot do anything. So uh Okay, I'm just gonna die. Cause something didn't something didn't happen correctly, I think. Okay, I apparently have to get inside there. So I'm just gonna die again. I don't really understand uh what exactly I'm supposed to do. Because I I guess I'm just supposed to I don't even know because the way these things fall is relatively random and there's very little I can do to actually change it Wait. 
I mean, that's that's awesome and all, but I'm stuck on the wrong side. I don't I'm sure there's supposed there's a point to the uh POW. I'm just not sure what it is. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that maybe if I jumped at the correct time I could just like bounce off of them and potentially bounce up it? Rather than, you know, climb up it? But... That's... That's not gonna work. I don't... Is that enough? Nope. Is that fucked up? I shouldn't have grabbed that POW, but I was just holding the, the button and... Okay. Um... Alright. So I figured out the first part. die and yeah so I should have crossed over immediately but I didn't <laughs> I really shouldn't have you know tried to wait for those things to oops I screwed up <laughs> I shouldn't have waited for the cannons to fall Come here! Stupid fireball. I didn't think I would actually land on the side of it like that, so I was... Oops. Oh. Well, it did it by itself. Crap. It knocked me down, so... This one's a nifty puzzle. Damn it. I understand, uh, how this works now. I just, I screwed up right there. Alright, there we go. Oh god! That was unintentional. <laughs> oh. I screwed up. I, I wanted to jump out 
but I wanted to make sure that I jumped out on the correct side. holding the run button and I picked it up. a lot of fireballs. Why why is there like 10,000 fireballs suddenly? There weren't that many before. God damn it. I was, I was so focused on that bomb that I didn't notice the fireball. Shit. Fuck! I'm having trouble just making it through this. Um, like, I'm getting the puzzles just fine, it's the actual obstacles that are screwing me over now. God damn it. Well, that, that fucking sucks. Not really the one I was looking for. <laughs> it worked, aside from the fact that there was, you know, random fireball generation. I just have to keep reminding- god damn it. Reminding myself not to hold run. What? Why did it go that way? It never goes that way. I was not expecting a spring to be right there. I saw the explosion and the blocks, and I figured, oh, well, well, the way is clear. And then, of course, there's a spring right there, so. Um. Hi. It's good to see you. Fireball, my old friend.
Let's just let them bounce around for a bit and see if we can't get them to blow up the wall a bit more. Whoa, don't come up here, man. Okay. Um. Oops. I want one extra. And success. Okay, that one was pretty clever. Um... Yeah. A little... A little random. For being... For being a puzzle, I mean, I understand. You can't really predict where all the fireballs are going to go and everything. Uh, pretty good. Definitely, definitely, um, unique. Definitely unique. Uh, thank you for sharing these levels with me. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't have, like, really any commentary for it. But there wasn't a whole lot to say. I was just basically doing the same thing over and over and... Uh, I feel like I probably kind of skipped part of it. Maybe? Like, the, the second part where you hit the P block and the cannons fall. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, you know, bounce up over those, or if I'm supposed to go under them. I don't know. But, once again, thank you for sharing. And, uh, I might check out more of your levels in the future, because you do have fairly creative levels. But for right now, this is an episode. Thank you for submitting them. And if anybody else has any levels to submit, feel free to, sum to uh, send your codes to me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time for more Mario Maker!